Okay, so for this weekend, um, I'll be hooking up a battery gauge, and it also acts as a uh, alternator or generator gauge. I've um, for quite a long time I've wanted to put on a, uh, a battery gauge, and uh, I've got this idea for this particular battery gauge from SYY Energy Seven, the channel SYY Energy Seven. Um, in fact, this uh, this code here is exactly the same as his code. It's uh, this is a YG8155, YG8155. Um, it's an LED um, battery gauge, and uh, I'll be attaching that. I'll be starting it up um, as the uh, Sports to Problem series showed, and uh, this is the second one of the. Uh, um, ignition problem series of videos. Um, the bike runs well. If I move this timing plate here, I can get it to go and it runs well. But then if it sits for a while, um, then it won't start and it'll backfire and uh, conk out. And it looks like that's the uh, CDI box. Um, the CDI box is located, well in fact that's it right there. It's located behind a sort of a cover there. If it shows to be a constant problem, that it backfires and conks out and, and I'll reset it and, and then leave it and it conks out, then I'll be hauling the other CDI box. You probably remember from a Sports of Problem series, uh, I've got a CDI box and when I hook it up and push the button, it, uh, it shorts out and uh, there's no electricity anywhere and then it resets itself. So. Um, one of the comments was was that the wiring harness is wired up different, so I'll be checking that out. If I can prove to myself that I need a new CDI box, I'll be looking at other options. The other option is a, uh, a self-contained unit that sits here on the assembly, or points. Uh, wouldn't surprise me if I decided to go for points. I do have a, uh, you know, like a a self-contained or a, a CDI unit from that bike there that apparently will fit straight onto here so that's one way to test and see if it's a CDI box or not. And I'll also be testing this VOES system that's the advance uh, unit I believe it's advance not retard but I could be wrong um, so I'll be testing that and making sure that that's, uh, that's all good. On the timing I'll be doing the timing too um, I've never actually timed a bike before. As I've said in the previous videos, I'm not a mechanic and I'm not a uh, auto electrician. And I've had a 30 year break from bikes. So a lot of this work you're seeing as I do it for the first time. Um, friends in the USA uh, probably find it interesting to know that this cost close to uh, 45 Australian dollars to get here. Um, the actual price was around about 16 um, US dollars. By the time it got here, it cost me close to 45 bucks. Okay, so I've got the LED um, voltage gauge all rigged up. It's just a mock-up at the moment. So I've got the cable going down. I've connected to uh, ignition on the back of the switch. Um, and I've grounded to this uh, to the bracket holding the ignition switch there. So apparently ignition on this switch, unless I'm mistaken, is on the left hand side here. Um, that's a bit confusing because you turn the switch this way and I expected the ignition switch to be there but uh, I'm pretty sure it's on that other side, on the left hand side. It's sort of a triangle and uh, it's on the left hand side. I'll just take this opportunity to uh, compare the two CDI units. Um, this is a stock standard one. This could be the actual problem with this motorbike. I did get another, uh, I did get another one about, uh, about a year ago um, but I'm just going to check to see if it's wired up the same. Okay, so this one here is the stock standard CDI unit, and we're looking at uh, 
I'll be doing a separate video where I'll be ohms testing both of these um, later on but we're looking at 3, 2, 4, 6, 5 9, 5 and 9, 4, 1, 6 um, 1200Q HDI it's HDI rev, it hasn't got a rev limit the other one that I purchased and when I plug it in the, uh, the electrical system just goes out is uh, 32465 95A and uh, 32465 that's the same those two numbers um, 9644 this is 9416 so these are different 1200Q um, 1200Q um, this one says all 1200 so that's why I purchased it that's a purchase one all 1200s this is HDI and uh, they both just got the rev and that's it so if anyone can inform me that would be greatly appreciated um, we'll have a look at the uh, the douche plug or wiring harness okay so looking at the back got the uh, the foam or the, the plastic plug there and there so they're both uh, lined up um, on mine I've got black it looks like purple and green on the purchase one it's black purple and green but the purple this looks almost brown color it may not be purple the one in the middle on the left that looks brown at the moment and that's definitely purple that one there that's the only real difference I can see um, when I turn them around the other way then um, on mine I'm seeing sort of uh, it could be pink, an old pink mine looks like a, an old unit it's been weathered a fair amount but it could be pink um, red and white black and white and here we've got pink, red and white, black and white. So it's uh, it's actually black and white. They're both these two are both black and white. Um, this is black only. This is black only on mine, and this is black and white. The third one out to the right. That's uh, that's black and this one's actually black and white um, this is uh, white and black you can probably see there the one on the end, the fourth one out to the right and this is uh, black and white but it's in a different uh, there's more white than the black so uh, there's a few differences there okay so now for the timing, there's the timing plug there and uh, you know that's the timing plate so I've got to get it up and running and uh, and get it timed now. Yeah, so just in summary with the CDI boxes, I just feel that it's uh, there's too many differences, and this CDI box is probably wired up too different to even be able to attempt to uh, to connect it properly and uh, and run it. So um, I'll move on from that. So you can see the timing plug there. I'm not sure, but it it looks like it could be a uh, a nine millimeter um, hex head. That's the bottom end through there. Now I have to find out uh, where top dead center is. So getting back to the battery gauge, I'll just turn on the uh, the ignition now, and uh, we'll see that we're a little bit under 12 volts, maybe 12 volts. 
So yeah, there's 11, 12, and sorry, 11, 13, and 15 volts, and we're just on 11 volts. Okay, so I've been to the hardware store, and I've got some of this clear uh, pipe. Um, what I'm going to do is hopefully one of these will fit in there, you know, like nicely, and uh, be able to sit up against that uh, crankshaft, and I'll be able to time it. Okay, so I've tried to thread it in. I've only been able to thread it in about uh, five millimeters. So what I'm going to do is just cut a slit. Um, cut a slit that will narrow it, and I hope to uh, be able to seat it up against the uh, the uh, the crankshaft there, or the big end, I mean. Um, this is a ten millimeter. Um, clear vinyl joiner. Pope makes it. So it's uh, 10 millimeters. Okay, so I've just cut a, uh, a V in it like that. You may be able to pick up on that uh, the top there. Okay, so I've cut a bit out of that. And uh, as, you can prob whoops, as you can probably see, that'll thread uh, straight through there, just looking on top of the uh, the go across for the exhaust pipe there and you can see there that just sort of slides in and meets the uh, the crankshaft there or the big end on me. Okay so you're watching it as it happens uh, for the first time um, I'm gonna I'm just hoping that not too much oil comes out of here um, I'm hoping to be able to see through there as I can and do my timing so uh, we'll see how it goes um, yeah, so this YG8155 is showing uh, real signs of being a, a good tool to have on the bike. So I'm just going to turn the uh, the motor on now. Um, this battery's been on charge overnight. So we'll be able to see, if we can just get this key to turn, that's on uh, about uh, 12 and a half volts. Okay, so we're going for a start up. If it starts right up, that means that the uh, CDI box is all good. Um, so when we get it started up, we're also going to come around here and check the uh, the battery gauge and uh, and check the the charging system and battery. We remember from sports uh, timing problem number one that uh, there's a problem with this bike that you you get it up and running and uh, you let it sit and uh, and then it'll when you start it up it'll uh, backfire indicating a bad CDI unit the ignition type or the uh, ignition plate here is set exactly the same as uh, last weekend when I got it to run properly Okay, this time I'll try with a bit of choke. Turn the ignition on. Bit of throttle, choke.
So at the moment, before I go ahead and replace the, uh, the CDI box, I'm just disconnecting um, these connectors just to see if there's uh, any difference. Okay, so uh, surprisingly, it doesn't matter where I put the position of the timing plate, this bike's just not going to start up even for a uh, even for timing. So um, what I'll have to do, apparently, the blue bike over there has got a uh, a um, CDI that mounts here on the ignition plate area, and uh, it's supposed to work with this bike. So that's my only option, and then. Uh, the only thing I can say is that it's a shame that the, the spare CDI box I got wasn't the correct one. Okay, so I'll leave it there on this one.